Sure is cold outside. Wanna go read a story? Okay. How about this one? The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled, with his Grinch paws nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew, all the who girls and boys would wake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys, and then, oh, the noise, oh, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated, the noise, 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 noise. Then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand paw in paw, and the Who's would start singing. And they'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat. And he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and he clucked. What a great Grinchy trick. With this hat and this coat, I look just like St. Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around. But since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No. The Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his cat, Max. Then he took some red thread, and he tied a big horn on top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, Giddy up! And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. This is stop number one! The old Grinchy claws hissed, and he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fists. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. The little who stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first thing to go. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room. And he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags, one by one, up the chimney. He stuffed them up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree, and he started to shove, when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast, and he saw a small who, little Daisy Lou who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter, who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot? The fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear, and I'll, I'll fix it up there, and then I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head, and he got her a drink, and he sent her to bed. And when Daisy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the last thing he took was a log for their fire. 
Then he went up the chimney, himself the old liar. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode his load to the tip-top to dump it. Poo poo to the hoos, he was grinchously humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the hoos down in Whoville will all cry. Boo hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his paw to his ear, and he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, and it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why? The sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes. Uh. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light, and he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch carved the roast beast.